Hello and welcome to Blashish. We are in the second part of October and we are on our way down to the store to buy a new cedar. I think we're going to have to sell our old cedar first. Well, it's not an old cedar, it's never been used. <laughs> but it doesn't really it doesn't really suit our needs at this point in time. So let's just quickly have a look and see. I need a cedar that can direct that can do direct drilling and I want it to fertilize at the same time. I've only got 6,000 euros at the moment so it does mean that we're probably going to have to sell the or trade in the old cedar. So there we go, 4,600. We can actually buy that. What is the width on that? Four meters? Ah, oh, but it can't. Where's this one? Can do exactly what I want. 6,000. The cedar offers the possibility to direct seed, so that's good. That's also 6,000, and it does both. So both of those do. Yeah. So let's do the, let's do the John Deere. Oh, we got a messy, so oh, that's a case, so we got a case. 5.2, 5.21. They pretty much look exactly the same. I only need 60 horsepower, so they don't need any major power. Yeah, those are fantastic. They do all the extra crops as well, so that's good. Yeah, okay, we're going to do the case, I think. Going to buy that standard. No, we want standard on that. And it comes to six thousand. It leaves us five hundred. So we will do the trade in. We'll we'll tell them we'll do a trade in, and they'll come and pick up the other one. So we'll buy that. Yes. Okay. So let's just do the trade in quickly. And it's going to be our cedar. Oh, we're going to make a nice little profit on that. That's okay. It's not as fancy as the one we've got, but it'll work. So let's sell that. Hey, yes. Okay, there we go. Looking good. So we'll go and pick up the... It's actually got a wider width than the one that we had. Slightly wider. I'm sure this will work just perfectly. Right, so we need to get some seeds and some fertilizer. So we need to buy that quickly. Um, where are we going? There we going there. Big bags, seeds, one of those. I don't think we're going to need more than one at the moment. Okay, and the next thing is, did we have fertilizer at the front? No, we didn't. Solid fertilizer, 1,000 liters. Not sure how much it'll take, so we'll buy one for now. Right, let's get these loaded up. And I'm not sure how much fertilizer we're going to need. But we can always come down with the bale trailer and... Uh, Right, 
Ah, there we go. Oh, we're still going to have a little bit left here. I wonder if we'll be able to carry it on the back of the... There we go. Oh, what am I doing? Get that filled. Right. And... Close the covers. Now I'm going to try, take a little bit of a chance here. Alright, so we're just going to see if we can balance that on there. To save us having to come back down here. Just using a bit of super strength for this. So these are worth well, 309 kilos here yeah, now. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be able to pick it up. <laughs> right, let's get back to the farm. And we can get started. Does look nice that cedar looks very basic, but yeah, it's going to do the job for us, that's for sure. And a bit of profit to boot. I'm just going to let you travel with me just for a little while to see if we have any problems with the, with the seed coming off. I don't think it should. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll do this on a, a time lapse, but I, I'm sure you'd like to see whether I get all the way to the farm without losing any of these bags. So we'll see you when we get to the farm. back with me <laughs> it didn't quite work didn't handle the corner oh dear oh dear oh dear let's see if we can get this back without oh, oh, oh sorry sorry <laughs> Oh dear. we might have to pick these up a couple more times on the way back. <laughs> oh dear. It was going along so nicely until then. I'll just try I'll drop it off there. I'll just have to take the next corner very very easily <laughs> uh, it's nice bit of fun I suppose uh, where was I? I'm going to just take that off jump back on we'll try and take the next corner a little bit slower cars coming behind, can't really see in any case we'll go back to the time lapse just so that you can see just so that you can see if it happens again well we're almost back at the farm and I'm sure you just noticed there that I had to be a little bit creative getting across the bridge <laughs> didn't think of that when I bought this and now the next thing is, can we get it through our gates? Doesn't look like it. It's going to have to live outside the 
It's going to have to live outside the the yard area. Not too much of a problem. What we'll do is we'll just drop off the bags here just in case we need them. And we'll get this planted. So we didn't lose any more of the what, any more of the bags. We didn't drop another bag. So that's something, I suppose. I suppose we could actually carry it on the back bit. That's really pushing our luck. And where's the other one? On this side. Right, drop those off there. We've got a little bit of uh, of stock. We may need more, but we'll worry about that when that happens. So let's get started with the with the seeding. Right, so the top the top left hand side we've got all the details for the application of fertilizer and the application of the seed the seed rate I think the seed rate will be quite high because oh not too bad on this field but uh, when we plant the grass I think on the on the on the clay it might be quite high but okay we we'll worry about that when we get there as long as we get this field done today, then I'm happy because the grass I can plant next month. It's not a problem. Right, so let's lower that and let's get started. There we go. So I don't think we need to put this onto course play for now. do it ourselves for a little while certainly do a couple of headlands but just get outside and check to see how we're doing it's going to need to be rolled so we actually need to get a roller as well. Uh, pH value note, yeah, so that's all going very well. Weeding we will do with the sprayer. So we'll wait for that, we won't worry about that now. So I think I am going to put this on to course play and then I'm going to go and get a roller. So um, let's just jump in the vehicle and We will put cosplay on. We're on that field there. A create the job. And I think we did three the last time, so we'll generate the yeah, that's looking good. And we will set them off. Yep, so there, he, there she goes, or there he goes, I'm not sure. That's all going nicely. Variable seed rate, so it's, uh, it's quite a high use of seed and yep it does change when we change into the different pieces of the, the different um, sections of land 
As you can see it's down to 300 seats per met metric ton now. And that's the joy of, uh, of the precision farming. We'll just stay with it until it gets around this first. Yeah, the nitrogen levels are looking good. pH value is right. It's okay. Right, so we need to go and find a roller. So let's get the... What shall we do? What shall we use? What shall we use? We've used the case quite a bit. Let's go and use the... Let's have a look and see. Let's use the Fint. So we're going to pop down to the shop and we're going to go and pick up a roller. I don't know what kind of rollers we've got. Have we got enough money to buy a roller even? Might have to lease a roller. Where's the extra weights? I think we're going to need the weights on the front of this to pick up the roller. Certainly the roller that I'd like to use. I just don't know if it's available. Here we go. And we will head off back to the shop and go and pick up the rollers. So I think it's going to be... Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to work into the night to finish off this field. It's not too much of a problem. The nice thing about having course play available is that when it does get dark it's nice to use course play because it does still do a very good job of uh, not leaving any gaps whereas quite often when I'm doing it manually at night I would well, nearly have an accident there have a problem making sure that I cover each speck of ground in any case we'll see you at the store Right, and we are just about down at our, what always looks like our favorite spot on the map. It's just that we have to get things organized. We're down at, back down at the store, so let's pop in quickly. Luckily they haven't closed up yet. And oh, that's not what we want to do. We need to go and look at rollers. 15,000 so we are, we're not quite going to be able to I don't want to leave us with nothing um, so we'll lease that that roller 80 horsepower yeah I think we've got more than 80 horsepower on the fence so let's lease that and yeah that looks good what can you uh, grassland roller so this is just a normal roller it's not a bad thing to buy then once we get our grass going because we can use it for both but yeah we can't afford to buy it just yet it's going to put too much pressure on us so yeah let's get back oh we didn't want to do that so that's good luckily we didn't have enough money to buy it uh Press the wrong button again. We are starting to lose the light quite quickly now. But 
we'll load this up and then we'll get back up to the farm and then we'll get this set up it's looking like we'll basically just have to work on into the night just to get that field planted and rolled oh we're on the wrong side aren't we Tuh. everything else seemed to hook up that side so I didn't even have a look but it's quite obvious when you look at where the, <laughs> where the ref reflectors are now is our weight going to be heavy enough to to handle this on the back of the track that should do Oh, yeah, it will fold it. Right, so we will get back up to the farm and we'll catch you once we're there. Right, we're just back up to the car, to the car, <laughs> to the farm. And yeah, we've pretty much lost all the light, so we will have to work into the night. This may not be the best for for showing off or for the video but yep yeah, we'll just keep on with it for now. So let's get that do this manually and well before we start that let's just quickly pop over to the and see how it's doing. Yeah, it's definitely just refilling the the um, the actual cedar. So I'm not quite sure. There must be a setting that I've missed somewhere. Maybe when I was establishing the. That's of course is costing us a lot more than. It would have, but um, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm not going to worry about it now. Right, let's get back to the rolling. Put that down, and away we go. Oh, it is pulling a bit. It's a little bit of an uphill to go there, but it's not too bad. There's quite a fair amount of undulation here, so. We may have to change over to the case a little bit, but we'll see. We'll try and use the fence first. So there are little corner areas that haven't been planted, but that's the nature of using the course plate. I'm not going to worry too much about that now. Just have a look and see what it says now that we've rolled that. Weed growing. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the. Well, we'll definitely have to weed, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Right, so we will do this on a bit of a time lapse and then we'll catch you once we've caught up to the cedar, if we ever do. So there's a race on the go. Enjoy the time lapse.
Ah, you're back with me, and um, the cedar has finished. It's actually cost us quite a bit in terms of seeding Ari and the workers. Oh, I reckon about seven thousand euros. I'm just looking at where my balance is now. It was about fourteen thousand. Uh, 14 it was about 14,000 odd after we had leased the the roller and we're down to 8,000 now so it's say 4 plus 2 is 6 it's, it's pushing 7,000 um, we do still have pretty much all our um, our seed and and fertilizer left, so we've, obviously we'd have to subtract that off because we have that now in stock. Um, what was that? That was one thousand eight hundred plus another eight two six, so another four thousand. We we don't know how many times we would have had to refill, but. Yeah, I suspect it was not the um, the the best way to do that. Just lift the cedar, and we'll go and find a place to park this. Yeah, so but then of course there was the convenience of of the of having the the worker do the work while we were basically um, getting started with the rolling uh, the rolling should be I put the roller onto a, an up and down worker uh, I think I've squared it off reasonably well uh, so we'll just un unhook that there We'll leave that there. Um, we're going to park up the tractor. And then I think what I should do is just go and pick up these two bags of... Well, the bag of seed, leftover seed and... Um, and fertilizer and just find a place to store them. So that they're not just sitting on the field. Oops, can we get ourselves out of here? Might have parked too close to the wall. No. Squeezed out. <laughs> Slim Jim. Just look at the trailer hooked on, we do. Oh, that was a bit too tight. <laughs> uh, let's get a little bit closer so we can see where we're going. I'll try and hook a bag onto each of the forks. Yeah, I'm still trying to get a, get used to a bit of night driving on the on this farm. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work with these forks because we've got the double forks on each side. So let's see if it'll if we can pick it up. Without too many problems. Get him on the bottom. Time. Walk. Right. 
move across a bit. Yep, that should have it there. Oh, that was lucky. I didn't even realize I got the other side hooked up. <laughs> uh, sometimes things just work out beautifully. Oh, I love it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, that was magic. Absolute magic. Okay, through the gates, yeah. So where should we store this? That is out of the way and quite accessible. I think we don't have anywhere to cover. Oh wait, wait a minute, we can put these in the in the bale shed, I think. I think they'll store, we can we're gonna find out. Yep, the hip. Fantastic. Let's go park up this tractor and then we can go and pick up the the roller, finish that off, and then that'll be this episode done. November, we'll start off November by planting grass. Can we plant grass in November? I think so. Let's have a look. Where are we now? There we go. Grass, yeah, we can still plant in November. It's the last month we can plant it. So we can do the grass in the next month. And that would be cool. So let's go and well, let's go and have a quick look and see while that's working. We can do a quick inspection of the. So we've got some eggs to deliver next month. Uh, how's their feed doing? They've got plenty. The cows have still got plenty. They've still got 39,000 litres worth of hay. So in the next month we can get some TMR going. We've got uh, 1200 litres of milk so we can deliver some milk tomorrow. Oh it's all going swimmingly well so far. Touch wood, all that type of stuff. Where's the tractor? I think we'll wait for it to come back. See how far it's got it. I've still got that to do. Yeah, so we're well on our way now. This shouldn't take too much longer to finish off. We'll wait for wait for it to come back and then we'll jump on that and finish off this job. So I suppose we could have put a bit of lime on, but because it's okay, I think expected yield ninety eight percent, yield potential a hundred percent. So um, we're two percent off, and I think we should be at a hundred percent once we've weeded. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Just waiting on our worker to come back and then I can send him home. It's after 8 o'clock, but we should have this all finished before 9 o'clock, I would think. Here he is on the way back now. Fabulous. Just stand to one side. Uh, 
And I think we can... Dismiss him. Just to spot it. Get going. So I think it's just down this little slope still to be done. Though the easel is probably the longest runs down the 180 degree axis. Oh yeah, we're going we're back onto the shorts the short runs. We've so there's not much still to do now. And at least we've got more or less all the jobs we've done. We would have been in trouble if I hadn't decided to change the plans for the bottom field. Because we would have still had to do that. And I don't think we would have reasonably have got through that this evening, so Yeah, I'm quite happy with the way things have turned out. Let's get this on to a 360 axis. So I'm just doing that on the bottom left hand side. And away we go. Yeah, so that's kind of worked out not too badly it does give us a grass field as I said earlier on and this does give us if we alternate between wheat and barley um, does give us and a third crop because we will start building up reserves the chickens not don't eat that much and um, yeah, forgot to stop there, didn't I? <laughs> I had it on um, autopilot. <laughs> yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so so it kind of worked out for the best. We were be self-sufficient I would think for a certain period of time on grass for the cows though I suppose it will be fairly small we should have we may look to extend that field a little bit if we're going to make it all grass maybe just put um, take some plow another plow up a little bit more around the edges just so that we've we can plant the grass as soon as we can we'll just probably keep that as a grass field and then we can once we've got that the animals the cows and the and the chickens up and running then we can decide whether we're going to go for more animals or we're going to do some more arable stuff Those are the decisions we can make as we go along. We've got to still buy a little bit more equipment for the for the cows. Well, the only thing we really still need is did we we leased the mowers there, so we really need to buy grass equipment because I think we leased all that yeah so that that's going to be the, the immediate goal is to get enough to get equip, equipment go uh, to get enough money to buy 
equipment to get the cow cows fully self-sustaining by self-sustaining I mean we have all the equipment we don't have to do any leasing we may still have to lease for a couple of years still just to get that all done and once that's done we can have a look at uh, The other thing is, of course, we could buy it and then take a, we'll take a bank loan and buy it. But that's another option. We will have... Um, so what we'll do is, as soon as the barley is ready, whatever wheat we have left over, we'll sell. And then we'll use the barley to sustain the chickens for another another year. That's if we have any wheat left over after. What have we got? I mean, we will get much much better yield out of this because we had a very well. There's a very low yield on the. Um, On the on the wheat field when we harvested, although we did have two f two fields bringing in, so it's probably going to end up being well. It should be still more than if the two fields combined, because that was thirty eight percent on each field. We are now we've still got weeding to do. We are ninety seven, ninety eight percent. I think there's some places we're ninety eight percent. So we should get up to sort of 99% yield on this field. So I'll be pretty happy with that. In any case, so that's that field done. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Do hope you enjoyed the, the little trip with um, back from the store with the <laughs> with the uh, the big bags balanced rather precariously on the on the cedar and in the next episode we will get the grass planted rolled etc and uh, we'll get that organized we'll try we'll probably get some TMR going so we're gonna have to buy ourselves a TMR mixer and yeah all looking good Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!